and good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good people of Tube, of course, who we are feeding today, and uh, those my yours. Hi there, everybody! Uh, today, everybody, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the Sub Zero, I turned into Crichton, uh, Sub Zero 35 Watt Amp, what's it called again? Uh, yeah, the V35RG. Um, since doing the little budget video where I got this amp, I've wanted to do a bit more of an in depth video and give this amp its own video because it's wicked. It really is. I love this amp a bit. Uh, I have removed the silver amp corner things because they just looked naff. So I've got rid of them. And the Tolwex underneath is fine. It looks really cool. And I prefer it without covers. Uh, you know, things on the side. It just looks, you know, proper. So anyway, so, um, so yeah, so I wanted to give this amp its own video because it's so good. And this isn't... I. I hesitate to say this is a gigging amp, because I don't feel it's really a gigging amp. It's, it's more of a kind of a home use, home recording, fun, kind of play around amp. You know, jam session as well. If somebody's got an acoustic guitar and you want to jam with them, this would be kind of like, you know, a good thing. Or if it was an acoustic gig, maybe if you mic'd it up, you could get away with it. But it's not very loud. I mean, the intro jam, I was running this thing on 8 on the clean channel. And this is very weird, actually, because I was running my pedal board through this amp. And uh, my pedal board reacted better with the clean channel of this amp than it did the overdrive channel. It sounded good through the overdrive channel, but it sounded better through the clean channel. It's just one of those little rarities where uh, not always that me running through overdrive channels works. And this is one of, the, one of those times. And I'm, so I'm running through the clean channel today. I think it's, it's more of a Fender style amp. Because when I go through Fender amps, like my, my stage for instance, or uh, the Champion or the Frontman, 212R. I ran through the clean channel. I didn't use the dirty channels. Um, so it was a bit, so I, think, I don't know. This, this, this amps to me does sound like a Fender. Yeah, it's got that kind of DNA running through it, if you will. Uh, you know, it's not, but it can be a bit martially. But it's still got that kind of Fender basement mid range kind of thing going on. If that makes any sense whatsoever, it just sounds wicked. I love it. It's really, it's cool. It's not my MG, it's not my CL120, it's not my Katana's. It's a Sub-Zero, but it sounds like, it sounds like a Fender, you know, it, to me, it just, it does. And for the price, forget about it, man. It's so good. I love it to bits. So anyway, so I thought what we'll do today is we'll just dive a bit deeper into it, basically. And, uh, you know, I'll give you a couple of different tones, different guitars. Uh, I'm going to tell you the EQ as we go. So before each uh, little sound bite, I'm going to tell you how I've got the amp set up. Um... I'm not going to use a clean channel after we after I show you it through my pedal board. So once my pedal boards, once I've shown you the sounds of the pedal board through it, just to show you how it takes pedals, we're going to go straight into the amp, and we're just going to use the uh, the overdrive channel basically to get the sounds from then on, because that's where this amp really shines when you're plugging straight in is in the overdrive channel. The clean channel is great for pedals as a pedal platform. A clean channel on this, you saw it, but the overdrive channel is if you're going to go straight in. It's just really cool. It's just a lot. You know, it's cooler. The clean channel is really flat and kind of lifeless. It, it's okay, but it's lifeless. But that makes it really good for pedals. You know, especially if you're getting all your sound from pedals. Uh, but if you want to use pedals to boost and have like a core tone from an amp, use the overdrive channel on this amp. It, it'll 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 sort you out. So anyway, so yeah, uh, I've got to say I do wish that Sub Zero would make a higher wattage version of this amp because. If they could make like a, well, I'm a 100 watt fanatic. So if they could make a 100 watt version of this and make it like, you know, loud, then this would be a gig worthy amp any day of the week. And it looks fantastic. Um, and I would gig one of these. I mean, I wouldn't, I would gig this, but I would be so aware of the volume of this thing. It's not a loud, loud amplifier. I mean, it, it can go loud, but it's not loud, if that makes any sense. Like there's gig loud and then there's, there's also loud. There's many, there's many levels on the spectrum of loud, and this is a very low one, sadly. It's not, I don't know. Like I say, you'd probably get away with it like an acoustic small gig if you mic'd it, but um, it's not, you know, it's not going to blow paint off the walls and stun a donkey at 50 feet. You know, it's not kind of like that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, without further ado, so the first sound you're going to hear is my pedal board running through it. So you're going to hear like the jackhammer, the DS2, the Marshall Governor. The Sundial Fuzz, uh, some, uh, some effects from a HX, 
the intro jam, what you heard in the intro jam, was the governor and the DS2 with a loop set up on the HX. I'm not using the Ditto Looper today because this doesn't have an effects loop. So I'm not, uh, the looper is in the front end. And for the loop, I was using particle verb and octaverb, kind of maxed out, if you will. I'm just going to reset that, actually. Um, so it was giving me that kind of like string kind of pad Dave Gilmore-y kind of thing. And I was just playing over top of it with the governor and the DS2. And uh, so, yeah, so that's that. Uh, the setting I had for that was... Um, I have the clean channel volume at 8. Uh, high and mid are at 8. So, 3 o'clock, basically. So, so the volume, high and mid are all set at 3 o'clock. So, that way. Uh, I have low all the way off. Low is on 0. And I add reverb up on 6. So uh, that's basically like one o'clock. So it was there. Every, so basically everything was like kind of like three o'clock, which is that way. Yeah, that's nine o'clock. That's three o'clock. So uh, so everything was kind of basically set at three o'clock, and that's where I've got it set for my pedal board. And that seems to be kind of like you know, a, I don't know. It's 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 as close as I'm uh, happy with it. You know what I mean? Uh, that'll do. You know what I mean? Like I'm really happy with that sound. You know that makes me go. I can feel that. It's good. So um so yeah, so that's where we're gonna go now. And then after that, we're going to unplug the pedal board and go straight in with a couple of different guitars, uh, like the uh, the Red Oswald. Um, I'll plug in the uh, the Heartwood and, and the RTL 50, 59 and um, Telecaster as well and stuff like that. And we'll get some kind of like, you know, straight in tones and stuff like that. And uh, I, like I say, I will, I will tell you the EQ before, before we do each sound. So uh, if I remember, hopefully I will. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, the Sub-Zero 35 something or another, I forget what it's called already. It's a 35 watt size type amp with a real spring reverb and it's absolutely wretched and I love it a bit. I, was, I really do love this amp, it's so cool. I wanted to give it its own video because it deserves it. It's great. Okay, so, first things first, pedal board.
Okay, thank you, people of YouTube. Uh, there you go. Hopefully that came across okay. As you can hear, this thing takes pedals like nobody's business. It's just awesome. That, I, I could play on that all day. Be a happy little boy all day. Like I say, that is loud, but that's not loud, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Like, you know, it's... I just don't feel that's gig enough, gig worthy enough, which really upsets me, actually, because I'd really love to gig this amp. Hiccups again. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, it sounds wicked. It sounds ace, but it's just not quite the volume wise. But the tonality of it, perfect. So good. So good. It takes pedals like, you know, even the fuzz on like really low, kind of like low fuzz, it, it, it's like, yeah, I can do that. A little 10 inch speaker in there. I'm, I think a 10 inch speaker sounds different. It, it, it's a different sound to the 12, it's, it's a different sound to a 12 inch speaker. It's really cool. I like it. So, anyway. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to unplug Mr. Pedalboard and we're just going to go straight in to Mr. Sub-Zero. Uh, we're going to start with Mr. Red Oswald and then we'll kind of like move through. And uh, before we uh, well, before we do the next sound, I will tell you what EQ I've got it set in and what kind of sound I'm going for. I am unsure at this point in time. So, um, so yeah, so um, it'll probably be something like, I'm probably going to go for something like, yeah, uh, the first sound I'm going to go for is like a Jimi Hendrix kind of uh, voodoo child kind of blues kind of sound you know because I, I adore that sound this sound does it really well as well i think so so we'll, we'll go for that first so um let me get over let me get all this set up and then i'll be back to tell you the eq okie dokie so uh first sound we're gonna go for like i say is like a Jimi hendrix blues tone so this turn turn uh, i don't know anyway so this is the eq this is what i've got set up so uh volume is on eight again uh, gain is on six, so it's basically one o'clock, so it's like that. Uh, I'm not using the clean channel now, so we're onto the, uh, the, what is it? We're onto the drive channel, and all, all the sounds you hear from this point on will be the drive channel. I'm not going to use the clean channel, uh, anymore, uh, just because it's a bit uninspiring. Uh, the drive channel's a lot more inspiring and more fun when you're going straight in. So, um, so yeah, volume at eight, drive at six, which is like one o'clock, um, so the volume's at three o'clock, so the volume's there. Uh, gain is at one o'clock. Um, high, the uh, the high the high uh, dial on the amp is at uh, two o'clock, so it's like there. Uh, mid mid range is all the way up, so mid mid range the mid dial is cranked all the way to the teeth. Low is at nine o'clock, and reverb is all the way up as well. So uh, so that's the setting I have for this, and uh, this is what it sounds like.
Okie dokie people of tube, I am in love with that sound very much. It's, that is, and it cleans up really nicely on the volume control as well, which is really, really awesome. Uh, very happy day. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the next sound I've gone for, I've gone to like, uh, like a uh, high, what, as high gain as I can get with Mr. Strat. Um, so basically it's like, you know, it's just basically full gain. So let me tell you the settings. Uh, the settings I've got here, uh, volume is still at 8, so the volume probably won't move, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, volume is still set at 8, so 3 o'clock. Uh, the drive, well, gain dial is turned all the way up now, so I've got uh, drive, well, gain all the way up on 10. Um, high, the high dial is at 11 o'clock, so it's like there. Uh, the mid-range dial is at 1 o'clock, so it's like there. So uh, the high and the low are kind of like, like that, uh, facing away from each other. Uh, the low is still set at uh, 2, well, uh, 9 o'clock, so there. And I've turned down the reverb to 9 o'clock as well. So the ba the, the, basically the low and the, the, the reverb are the same place. So that's that's what I've got set up for this sound, and this is what it sounds like. It's just, it's just mid-range drive goodness, and it's just really kind of classic. I feel it's a very classic sound. It's, I don't know, I'd love it. Anyway, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Well, even English. Okie dokie, everybody. I'm getting carried away. It's surf time. Uh, okay, so surf mode. Uh, I haven't got my surfboard out and I'm not wearing shorts because that would kill everyone. Because 
that just wouldn't be a very pretty sight. Anyway, uh, the EQ I have for this sound is uh, volume is still at eight, so uh, that's still there at three o'clock. Uh, the gain is now set at one o'clock, so well. Um, high, I have high all the way up. This is one of the amps where I can actually use high because it's not high because uh, technically. It doesn't respond like treble. It's kind of got it's got a brighter sound. It's really really it's it's not as bright. Sorry, it's a, it's a lot warmer, kind of brightness. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But hopefully it does. Um, so I've got the high all the way up on ten. Uh, the mid range dial is at twelve o'clock, so I've lowered the mids. Uh, all the, the low is turned to zero, and I have reverb on full because it's surf, and you need that. So. Um, Without further a doodles, uh, let's go surfing. <laughs> people of true it is telly time uh, i've got my uh, i've got it down tuned i forget what to but it's very low but uh i've gone for like um kind of a bluesy well it's a bluesy kind of telly tone if you i'm going to use the bridge pickup on its own i'm not going to go to the neck or the in between i'm just going to use the bridge pickup and i really like this sound this is really cool so this is how i have it set so uh volume is where it's been eight uh, i've got gain at 12 o'clock um, high and mid are now cranked, so high and mid are on 10, so they're all the way up, uh, the bass is turned all the way off, and I have reverb at 1 o'clock, so it's 6, so it's like there, and it sounds a little like this. <laughs>
I blooming love that one. The telecaster sounded wicked, I think. It's like really kind of bright. I turned the reverb to max, by the way. Uh, if you, uh, when, when you saw me go to the amp, I turned the reverb all the way up. Okay, so we're going for a cleaner, bluesier kind of tone now with the um, with the heartwood. So um, so this is how I have it set up, everybody. Um, uh, volume hasn't changed. Um, gain is now at 10 o'clock, so it's like here. Uh, uh, where are we now? High and mid are still whacked up to 10, so the high and the mid are still on 10. Uh, the, the low end is still on zero as well, so I've still got no bass. Um, this amp has got loads of, loads of bass in it. You don't really need the bass dial very high if you need it on at all. It's really boomy. Uh, and I've got reverb at 12 o'clock, so straight up. And it sounds like this, and I like this sound as well. Okay, okay, everybody. Uh, so this thing's a tone machine, absolute tone machine. I love it. It's 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 very kind of classic. It, it's very seventies. You know what I mean? It's it's got that kind of like uh, like late sixties kind of blues boom, early seventies kind of classic rock kind of thing. Well, I, you know, 
the kind of to mid seventies really. You know, it makes me th- it, it makes me think of like you know, um, oh the British blues boom, like you know, like Peter Green and Eric Clapton and that lot. But it also makes me think of like Finn Lizzy and 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 like you know, uh, T Rex and stuff like that. It's got I don't know, it's, it just seems to have that kind of thing. I don't know, I don't to me anyway, in my, in my humble opinion. But um, I love it. It's an absolute beast, and I love it to bits. It's so cool. Uh, so. Uh, final sound of the day, everybody. We're going to plug the uh, the 59, the Artel 59. And um, what I've gone for here is kind of like a kind of bluesy rock, kind of Gary Moore slash Peter Green kind of thing. So cranked gain, but turn down the volume on the guitar until kind of like such a time you want to kind of release the beast, if you will. So, um, so let me tell you, I've got it set up. So... Um, Volume hasn't changed. Volume's still where it was, so it's at, at basically at three o'clock. Uh, I have the gain all the way up now, so gain is maxed out. Um, middle and hu- well, mid, high and mid are still on ten, so they're turned up to ten. No bass still. I've still I, um, like I said, I'll, t- I'll talk a bit more on the sec. So no low end, and I've got the reverb on ten. So that's how I've got it set. It's, you know, um, the EQ on this amp is really this amp is really dark. Uh, it's a really dark sounding amp, so you really have to kind of, you can really dive into kind of like turning up the highs and lows and, and well, turning up the highs and the mids, sorry, and kind of like keep the lows really low, if not off. Um, it's a really dark amp. Uh, when I when I, when I I did the kind of like unboxing video of it, I was like, it's, it, I knew I was going to love it from the get-go because, because of how dark it is. I knew I was going to be able to use the mid and the high dial to really get where i wanted it to sing and uh it, do, it just didn't it doesn't doesn't disappoint um and i love the gain in it there's, there's not a lot of gain in this thing it's not kind of like you know uh it's not it's not as much gain as the cr120 or the mg it's it, it's kind of a very classic kind of um like i say it's a very thin lizzie-esque kind of gain kind of thing it's very um High gain but low gain, you know, it's it is that it's that cranked up amp gain, you know what I mean? Where it's not, it's not oodles, but it's enough. If I make sense, just to kind of get by, but uh, it's not enough to. It's enough to flow, but not quite. If I, I don't know if that makes any sense. Like you know, you you kind of have to play in a bit of a different way. I, I feel like I have to play in a little bit of a different way to it, but. I love it. I really, I really, you know, if you're after that kind of classic bluesy kind of rock tone, you can't go wrong. It sounds incredible. And I say every guitar you plug into it, oops, sorry. Every guitar you plug into it just kind of like, it just takes it. Every pedal you plug into it, it just takes it. Like I say, if you're using your, if you're using pedals to get your sound, like your, you know, like I was at the beginning, uh, use the clean channel. But if you're not using pedals to get your sound, you're just using pedals to kind of add uh, here and there. Uh, the overdrive channel will will take will sort you out. It's absolutely immense. I love it. It's so dinky. It's so tiny, but I absolutely love this amp. It's so cool, and it's got it has it, it feels really classic to me, and I just like it. And the little ten inch speaker as well is really amazing. Is it ten or twelve? I forget. Either way, whatever it is, it sounds great. And um, is it twelve? It doesn't look like a twelve. It looks like a ten. It doesn't look very big. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure you can find that information online. Because uh, I'm stupid, and I don't remember anything. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, um, so so last sound is like I say Gary Moore slash Peter Greeny thing, and I go. I'm just gonna do blues. I just it's making me want to play that really. It's making me want to play that style, and I really like it. I don't. It, it doesn't like I say because it doesn't have like loads of gain and stuff like that. It's making me want to play in a really like certain way, like you know, classic rock. Uh, blues kind of thing, you know, very kind of like that kind of way, and I like that. I like, you know, because I love my style anyway, but um, yeah, it's really cool. So, final sound of the day, everybody, RTL Revelation, and uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like, and I love this amp. I love this amp so much. I have played for this so much recently, and I really do love it. Um, I did like, uh, just to quick, just quickly kind of like, you know, Archie, I'll talk about that later. Well, let's, let's play first, and I'll talk about that later. Thank you. 
Okay, okay, everybody. Um, I'm exhausted. Uh, it's a good sign. Okay, so there you go. Um, what's it called again? The Sub Zero V thirty five R G thirty five watt solid state amp with I think it's a tenny speaker. I could be wrong. I, think, I don't know. I uh, don't know what the speaker is. Uh, not really that bothered. It sounds great, regardless of whatever it is. Uh, real spring reverb, but sounds to die for. It's tones to die for, pedal friendly, budget friendly, 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 friendly amp uh, in every way. And it's just fantastic. I love it to bits. It's so cool. It looks great, sounds great, is great. It, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so happy with this. I just love it. It's so good. It's just so good. Um, I don't know what else to say. I really don't know what else to say. Um, I will say one thing. I was like uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago. I did a uh, well, quite a while ago now. I did uh, did some. Uh, I did like a blues thing. It was it was just recorded on my phone. I I was playing uh, the Black Strat, and uh, I was I was just doing kind of like a, it was like Steve Ray Vaughanish kind of twelve bar blues, Texas kind of blues, and uh, that setup was my Black Strat just straight into the Sub Zero. There was no other pedals. Uh, it was just unreal. 
absolutely unreal what you can get out of this thing. I absolutely adore it to bits. It's a real blues rock amp, if that makes any sense. You know, uh, it really does. It, it, but, you know, you can get it to do other things if you run pedals. But if you're going straight in, you know, with no, with no pedals or just using pedals for boost and stuff like that, you know, you, could, you can get, well, in all fairness, you can get anything out of this thing if you're using pedals. You know, you really can. But I, it's core tone. You know what I mean? It, it, in its core, you know, its heart, it's that kind of bluesy rock tone. It really is. But again, like I say, if you run pedals in this thing, you can do anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm positive this thing will do anything you want it to. If you wanted to do metal, if you wanted to do, you know, ska, reggae, whatever you wanted to do, jazz, this will do the job. I have no doubt in my mind. I'm steered towards more that bluesy rock kind of style just because that's that that's what it makes me feel and that's what that's what that's what the music is telling me to play through this thing and that's what the sound is inspiring me to play but i'm you know you can get i'm, I'm positive you can get anything out of this thing it's absolutely fantastic um as usual we're kind of we're kind of mic'd up with the 57 but we're not, we're not close mic'd. i can get my hand just in front of the mic um i don't like super close but i don't like it so it's on the on the cloth so to say it's just a bit near for me but this amp is insane um like I say, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I hope it's made somewhat form of sense. I hope my ramblings about kind of settings has made somewhat form of sense as well. If you're after that sound on a budget, you can't go wrong with it. You know, you really can't. Look how tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. And uh, and it looks great as well. If you get rid of the silver covers on the sides, it looks better though. Uh, the, cor the corner covers, I know, what they're, I know they're there to kind of protect it and stuff, but they just... I don't know, they don't look cool. They look cool without them. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I really hope the sounds have come across okay, and I hope you know it's uh, hope it's been somewhat informative and you know enjoyable in, in in some respect, and I hope the playing was okay. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the sounds of this little beast. It's so cool. I love it a bit. So um, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Sub Zero, everybody. Uh, Thirty five, ah, uh, whatever it is. Was it V? I can't remember the name of it ever. The V thirty five RG, <sighs> fantastic little amp, absolutely fantastic. So good. It's my friend, definitely my friend. Anyway, I'll see you again, everybody. Have a great one. Goodbye now.